Hello and welcome to this DAISY Consortium tutorial video about live recording in OB, a DAISY audio authoring tool. In this video, you will learn all the steps for live recording which mainly includes pre-recording tasks, audio monitoring and recording into a phrase. So, let's first understand the pre-recording tasks. Before recording for the first time, you must perform some pre-recording tasks. These are check your microphone settings and check the audio preferences of OB. So let's see how to check the microphone settings. You can check the microphone's recording volume by going to the control panel, then select the sound settings option you will find the recording tab page here. Select the microphone properties and go to levels. Here you can increase or decrease the volume as required. It is advisable to maintain a consistent volume throughout the book. You must ensure that the volume is loud enough to be heard comfortably. At the same time, it should not be so loud as to create clipping and distortion. Next, you should check the audio preferences of OB. Let's see how this is done. First, open your OB project and go to Tools menu and click on Preferences or press Ctrl Alt plus F. OB will open the Edit Preference dialog box. Audio Preferences can be viewed in the Audio Preferences tab. You need to check Input device name. Here the driver corresponding to your microphone should be selected. I'm using the Microsoft headset so I will select it here. Next the sampling rate. The default value 44100 Hz is optimum sampling rate. But if you want to save the disk space the lower ones can also be selected. Channel. This specifies whether the recording will be done for a stereo sound or a mono sound. Noise level indicates the noise level of your recording environment. Select low for a recording studio, medium for a room that is not soundproof and high for a noisy environment. Once you've checked all these audio preferences, press the OK button. With this, we complete the pre-recording tasks. Now, the next step is audio monitoring for optimum quality. It is a good practice to monitor the audio quality before recording. To start monitoring, click transport, then record option where you'll find the start monitoring on the menu or you can also press Ctrl R. You could also click the start monitoring button on the transport bar at the bottom. You can see the amplitudes in the textual peak meter at the bottom right of the screen. The values will range from minus 90 decibels which is the minimum to 0 decibels which is the maximum. But these values will rarely be seen if your microphone volume has been set. OB will warn you long before reaching these extremes. If you want to know more about this warning system Watch the video on advanced recording methods. If you want to graphically monitor and check for overloads, open the graphical peak meter. Go to view and click on show peak meter or press Ctrl Alt plus P. It will open the graphical peak meter on the right hand side of the screen. Very high levels are indicated in red which may result in clipping and should be avoided. Extremely low levels should be avoided again. Please note that if you press Ctrl plus R again, OB will start recording. At this moment, we do not want that, so I will select the stop button or press Ctrl space. That's all about the audio monitoring. So now, we are finally ready to start recording into a phrase. There are two ways of recording directly in OB. 
You could either record the entire content as a single phrase and then perform auto-splitting or you could create the structure of the book while recording by using the navigation controls of the transport bar. In the first method, you will have to do the structure editing manually. If you want to learn more about structure editing, you can watch the OB tutorial on working with sections and phrases. If you want to learn more about the second method, you can watch the OB tutorial on advanced recording methods. Now I will show you how to record into a phrase. To record in a blank phrase, you need to select it first. If you want to start recording directly, Without monitoring the audio first, go to Transport, Record and choose the Start Recording Directly option on the menu or you can press Ctrl Shift plus R or you could press the record button twice. The first time it will monitor the audio input and in the second time the recording will start. You will now be able to see the time elapsed in the transport bar in the bottom of the screen. Obi will continue recording into the phrase till you stop by clicking transport stop on the menu or press control space. You can also click the stop button on the transport bar. Now the phrase will display the duration of audio content just recorded into it and draw a waveform of audio beneath it. In case you pause instead of stopping by clicking transport, pause on the menu or pressing space, the recording will stop but the point of recording will be saved. This means the phrase currently being recorded will be marked as the start point for recording. Whenever you start recording again, Obi will create a new phrase next to the start point and start recording in it. To remove the start point, simply press Ctrl space. With this, we come to the end of the Obi live recording tutorial. For more on Obi, please log on to www.daisy.org slash ob. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.